Hi, I'm Bob Hunter from Wood Magazine. One of the great things about stationary woodworking tools is the cast iron tops. They add a lot of weight for stability, and they also dampen vibration that's created by the saw blades or the cutter heads and the motors. It just is a good, good thing to have on there. But one of the drawbacks to cast iron is that it can rust real quickly, and that creates a problem because that rust can get onto your wood, it can get into the other parts of your saw. So you've really got to clean that up and treat it and keep it, keep it nice and clean. Uh, these two tools that I've got here, I've got a jointer and a table saw that were, that were sitting in a shop that had a leaky roof, and as a result, they've got rust all over the cast iron. Now there's a couple of methods for, for removing this rust, and I'm going to show you one on each tool. For the table saw, I'm going to use a method, there's a couple of chemical removers on the market that, that I like to use, um, and I'll tell you a little bit about them. The first product is from Shield. it's called Rust Free. Uh, it's a phosphoric acid, it's very effective at removing it, but because it is uh, the acid, it is very caustic and needs a lot of good ventilation in the area. You also need to protect your hands. Uh, this is one good method for using, however it does tend to dull the patina of the cast iron a little more so than the, than the second product. It's great at removing the rust, but it will give it a kind of a dull gray look, which if you're okay with that, great product. The one I'm going to use today is from Empire Manufacturing called Top Saver. Uh, it's not as caustic, but it works the same, removes the rust very well, also has a little bit of a protectant in there to keep the rust coming back. Uh, but the, the thing about this one is that it will leave a little bit of shadows if there's a, a for like example, we have a serious rust stain that might leave a dark shadow on the cast iron, that will still be here. Has no effect on the performance of the cast iron afterward, but it, it does remove it very well. For both of these products, either one you've got to use You've got to wear latex gloves or a, or a vinyl rubber glove, something to protect your hands, keep your skin safe, as well as with, with the Empire, that it will leave your hands kind of a grimy feel to it and the, the rust stains will get on there. Just a real quick thing to do, put on some latex gloves. To use that, I'm gonna use a scouring pad, just a common, like a Scotch-Brite pad, and some clean cloths to wipe up afterwards. Start by spraying the rust remover on a small area, covering it evenly. Let it sit for a minute or two, then begin scrubbing with the abrasive pad to loosen the rust. Make sure you get into the miter gauge slot and along the edges to remove rust there as well. Then wipe the surface clean with a rag to remove the rust slurry. Okay, after you've cleaned the rust from your tabletop, you need to put a treatment on it to keep rust from coming back because even if, if, if you have cleaned it, flash rust can show up within a day or two, especially if you live in a humid environment. Uh, the best protectant we've found on the market is called Bow Shield T9. It comes in an aerosol can. You spray it on, just let it soak in for a few minutes, and then buff it, and it'll protect for a good few months. Fantastic stuff. Now our table saw top is clean. We've got the rust off. We've added a layer of protection with the Bow Shield that should last for three to four months and keep us rust free. But those cleaners cost about $15 to $20 a bottle. So if you don't want to spend that, I've got another method that, that I can show you using tools that you've probably got in your shop already. Let's show you that on the jointer. As you can see, this bed has been just pockmarked with rust. Uh, it looks like this end was sitting right underneath a drip in the, in the roof. It's got a lot of heavy rust on this end. So the method I'm showing you really works better at this for removing that deep embedded rust. It, it's all over the bed, it's even on the fence. It's under, under the guard. So to do this, I'm gonna have to remove the guard and the fence. Okay, for this technique, I'm going to use a simple 3 8 inch electric drill and a wire brush wheel that you can buy at a home center for a couple of bucks. Pretty inexpensive. I like an electric drill for this because it gets a lot quicker RPMs than a cordless drill will. It'll, the cordless will just bog down, so if you've got a, it will certainly work, but if you've got an electric drill, go with that. This process kicks the rust up into the air, so it's a good idea to wear a dust mask or a respirator. Work back and forth over the rust, trying to keep the wire wheel flat on the cast iron surface. Keep the brush moving to avoid pitting the surface with deep circular scratches. Then switch to 400 grit sandpaper on a sanding pad or any flat block to remove any circular scratches that might have resulted from the wire brush and drill. Finally, spray on some Bowshield T9 rust preventer and spread it around with a clean rag. Well, there we have it. A uh, coat of Bowshield on this just seals it protects it. Hopefully we won't get this bad again. Put all this on our cast iron tools and this joiner and this table saw are ready to go.